What is up, Taco Alert Nation? I am your host, Taco Tuesday, and let's get Roy into the base build. So today, I'm going to be doing a 3-5 to five man clan recommended by Ignite with a 3. So as you see in the top right, um, it looks very, very nice. It's symmetrical. It's in the shape of an egg, and it kind of looks like a star in my opinion. Um, but it has the intimidation feel, so it works very well. So Ignite wanted me to do a base that was intended for, well, three to five people and had didn't have as much double layers. So I decided not to even add double layers because I know it is kind of difficult to get this set up on a high pop server. So this is for those clans that, or the small clans that don't like setting up double layers and you don't have the space to do it. So, and I'm not going to talk as much through the actual um, base tour because it's kind of self-explanatory. The only thing I do have to say is that there's throughout the base there's three separate entrances and exits to each floor, so uh, you'll easily be able to defend this and s sneak shit out because literally there like there's shooting porn entrances into the loot room and there is a um, crease. I don't know how to say it, but it's kind of like a crease and it leads into the underground or honeycomb furnace room, which looks really nice. Uh, loot is split up two cupboards and. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's a difficult thing to raid, not the easiest thing to raid, but I'll get to that into the next clip. Um, so there's not much explaining, so I might as well just actually uh, I want to say something. So these chests, or some if you didn't see the chests out in the bedrooms, um, I put those there, and I didn't put any shelves because I was recommended not to have such a crowded floors for clan bases. So I did that, and um, yeah, and. I know you can swap out some of these prison bars and the chain link fences for doors, but I decided just to make it a little see-through so it's a little more easier to like visualize what's going on throughout the base. Uh, I'm not doing any ladders. I did ladders for the furnace rooms though, so just keep that one in mind. And so why not just enjoy the rest of the base tour in peace. So there really is no real easy way to raid this or exploit because it doesn't have double layers. But the only issue is the cupboard range. So I'm going to show you three good cupboards for this base type. And here's the first one, which is kind of just a triangle. It's self-explanatory. It takes four C4 to get into the cupboard. Some people like it. Uh, I personally like it a lot because it is cheap. The next one is a circle one, and I got this off of a battlefield server while I was raining. Funny story, actually. Um, you kind of just hide a triangle foundation, or a not a triangle foundation, but a cupboard inside a um, circle, which if they don't hack, it works very well, but if they have a hacker on their team, it kind of, you know, it's it fucks up for you. <laughs> so the next one is a little pricey, and it has its issues, but... It costs 15k stone and takes 8 C4 to raid. Um, the only issue is since this triangle center foundation is so low, it will decay. So you have to have you have to keep managing it every other day. So just keep that one in mind while building this cupboard. Um, I don't recommend it. I recommend the the triangle one that I sh the first one. And yeah. Anyways, we gotta move on. So like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get building. So the foundation plans for this base is actually kind of easy and self-explanatory. All it is is pretty much a tier 2 egg-shaped base and with the triangles hanging off of the square foundations on the edge, so it costs a little more C4, uh, and we can have those ladder hatch entrances. So 
Um, I can't really help you much if you don't understand from here. Uh, you, all I say is just pay attention closely to how I place the foundations. Oh, be warned, I kind of do mess up, so, you know, show mercy for me. So once you're done with the actual foundations, start placing that in the three doorway entrances on the triangle foundations and begin your honeycomb into the second. From there, place your ladder hatches. You have to place the ladder hatches before you build up the honeycomb, right below the ladder hatches. Oh, so here I'm pointing out where the furnace rooms go and that is right below the first ladder hatch. So you can set up the third floor in any manner that you want. Uh, my recommendation is putting a small loot room and your beds up here along with a secondary cupboard so it is harder to raid tower this. So the loot room will be the same thing as the actual furnace room. Set it up in any manner that you want. My recommendation is putting as much emphasis into the loot room as possible because you want to be able to counterattack anybody that is online raiding you. Not saying that most raids are online raids, just in case they are, this is a good idea to do. So for the last bit, just set up your shooting ports in any manner you want. Um, it's all about preference, really. I prefer more of an open shooting port, so I'm just going to put low walls and uh, water barrels. Anyways guys, so the last bit is pretty much just putting barricades on spots that need it, which uh, on the, are the spots that I dedicate it to. So anyways guys, thank you for watching, subscribe and like if you haven't already, and Taco Tuesday Nation, currently sitting above 1050 subscribers.